going on everybody? Welcome to my channel, Driver Ryan. Today, I'm going to be installing an MBRP trail can on my 2002 Skidoo MXZ 700. I'm going to do an install, review, and do some before and after shots of how it sounds. So, should be pretty easy. Let's get to it. So I picked the snowmobile up last week and just like anything I buy, I can't leave it stock. I don't know, I got issues. But let's take a closer look at the exhaust. So when you open the box, you get directions, the part itself, and a couple of stickers. The stickers are inside. But I chose the trail can because it's supposed to be not obnoxiously loud and not rattle your ears off when you're like half throttle or cruising through the trails. But when you're wide open, it's supposed to sound really good. Huge benefits and weight savings. I think you save about nine pounds over this stock unit and you probably gain uh, a horsepower or two. Not much, but some people have said that the mid-range really improves a lot with these, so we'll, we'll see when we get it installed. Tools you'll need, pick yourself up a uh, little spring tool. I got this from Amazon, it's a Woody's spring tool. I'll put the link in the description below so you can get it for yourself. You can use pliers, that's all you have, but I think this tool is gonna make my life way, way easier. So, that's it, let's, uh, let's get it in there. If I can, I'm gonna leave this pipe on, but there's a spring that goes from here to the frame. I undid that just so I could rotate this up. And then there's an exhaust hanger there, and there's two springs there and there. And then down below, it's hard to see, but there's two 13 millimeter nuts that you gotta take out. And I believe that's where this hole bolt to. So, almost there. So you can see the difference here, it's unbelievable. I mean, the stock can is humongous, and it looks like my tip got a little jacked up. So I didn't, didn't even notice that before. Like I said, I've only had this sled for about a week, so I'm discovering things every day. But I'm gonna clean up this little grease mess, and then new can will go on and use these two nuts, springs on each side, that's it. Reconnect that. Done. Real easy job. Looks so much better. So those two springs are back on. This spring's back on, and those two nuts, it's hard to see, but there's two nuts back there are tightened down, and it's ready for the first startup. See how it sounds.
let's sum up my thoughts on this MBRP trail can. Real quick, it is exactly what I was looking for in an aftermarket solution. A lot of the aftermarket cans that you get for these sleds uh, are just screamers. They sound sick, but in the trails and, you know, I don't want to annoy all my neighbors. This is perfect for that. When you're just riding around on the trails or not going wide open throttle, it's basically the same as stock. Like not, not much different. It's idling, it's a little bit deeper. And when you're wide open throttle, it screams, it has that nice two stroke pitch that I've been looking for. Thanks MBRP, great product, great fitment, great sound, everything is perfect. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to this channel, this is really my first snowmobile video. If you like snowmobile content, I'll do as much as I can while there's snow, but I have a feeling it's not gonna last too much longer. But if you're into cars, check out some of my other videos because that's what my channel is pretty much based around. As you see, got the winter Subaru WRX, Miata, and in the garage I have my E90 M3 that's away for the winter, right here. And then I have another project Miata. But if you're into any of those types of things, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Just out here filming Big R. There he goes, there he goes again. What's well, good? <laughs> <laughs>